in today's video i'm going to be showing you what i've done with my 18650 batteries panasonic 18650 and these are the specs right here from battery hookup uh 4s 3p cgr 18650 cg 14.4 nominal voltage 66 100 amp milliamp hours at 95.04 watt hours guys you see these cells i've put together um this is an older cell i can see it's a 2009 and most of them i have is a 2015 so i have to take a look again in pull out the 2009s is older and trying to keep up the new ones so what happened battery hookup sent me a replacement you've seen that video I'm not talking about it anymore and they did a good job and it has a plug right here and most of them you can see um, already assemble and get a case just like a, a mic case microphone case or any um, DJ or live sound um, carry-on see it's padded all the way so that's what I'm gonna be using or this is what I just choose to do and um, get the batteries all wrapped up the ones that had the cracks on them um, the ones that works and I just want to show you um, how, how I have done it with a, a tape, electrical tape, and tape them around. Because basically, if you look at it, this is a thin plastic here that um, they use to wrap these batteries. So if you look at it, let me get this to focus. So it's really thin and it, it get dry and it just broke and fall off side of opening. Okay, it's going to be a good example right here. Uh, right there. You see that crack right here? There's a crack right here. So I just um, went and bought some... Um, Electrical tape and wrap the entire battery. It makes it a little pretty compared to what um, we had. And I'm going to take pick on one of these. I already sealed up pretty well. to uh, Just not to get the battery all showed into the crack stuff. And they can last a little bit longer. So these are 2015. See, I've wrapped them all. I make sure uh, I left the um, the label that gives the description of the or the specification of the battery because it's nice to have the battery specifications and the year for that as well. That's what I did. So it turns out pretty cool, and I've done all the way at the bottom and uh, the side and sealed up this battery pretty well so what I'm gonna do I don't know what you guys have in mind and let me know because what I'm gonna do I want to wire all these batteries in parallel so they can be a 12 volt so each row here is 10 here so I'm gonna go with 10 and 10 here I have this one just trying to uh, demonstrate. That's what I end up having three here. I know I have some um, bad one there, but I have 10 here, 10 here. Then I can use a styrofoam and put it to stabilize the batteries and get the batteries facing this way and get this other one facing that way so I can able to in interconnect like the positive here to the positive there, positive there to the positive. So after that, I'm going to be sold solder a wire going across, which is a heavy gauge, approximately um, uh, 8 gauge or something or 6 gauge wire. 
if that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay it all the way straight on the bottom of this battery. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to decide to put, um, remove this one here, this styrofoam, and put um, like um, um, those DIY um, terminals you can buy from Amazon and put one here, which is the positive going to be probably on this side and the negative is going to be on the other side here. So I'm going to take all the negative and tie them so they run in parallel to each other. So that it can so so I, I can take this joint and solder it. I have to cut the the uh, eight gauge wire or anything, or maybe uh, whatever it is six gauge for every duty for twelve volt, or maybe eight gauge wire. Um, sorry, four gauge wire, and cut it in a little bit. Open up the end of it like here, peel it, and use a solder, and um, and. Uh, and solder it, soldering wire, and solder the terminal, each one touching to that. I'm gonna tie them all in parallel. Like this one here comes to this, this one comes to this, pause, 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 pause. So after that, I'm gonna tie negative, negative, negative. Then I'm gonna pass two wires, black ones, black and red. So they run in parallel, and one of them is gonna be from one of the negatives here. <clears throat> going all the way across and this one's going to be attaching to that sort of that tied negative to negative negative to negative and positive to positives and go about do all this stuff and put something here so what i'm thinking i'm not i might not use this center batteries here so i can have the cable drop down at the middle okay and drop it right in the middle and get it, and I'm trying to see if I can work on getting the uh, uh, fuse, inline fuse. So see if I can put a fuse there, or maybe outside the box, whatever. But this is going to be the perfect box for it. And after that, I'm just going to drop this cover like this. You see what I'm saying? And I can able to carry this with all padded foam on it. See, a padded foam. Like a soundproof so I would have done it on the bottom but if I decided to do that it might probably it's gonna be too high the battery is probably gonna be too high that will give me more compression this battery is gonna be stabilized this battery is gonna be stabilized by these uh, uh, eggshell soundproof uh, materials here so we have to check that out and test it and see how it turns out and I'm going to be having some remaining other ones are bad. Um, see, this one is almost pierced right here. So I don't know if it doesn't affect the 18650 battery in here. So I just have to be really careful and see. But this is what I'm going to do. So guys, stay tuned. <clears throat> make myself, excuse me, make myself a nice 12 volt pack right here. Like and subscribe. JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Look at that. That's how it's going to look like. Okay. Yeah. If you think it's a good idea, let me know. If you have a better idea why I'm going to do this. And uh, I'm trying to search who, have, who has done this, but I, don't, I haven't seen any video. Let me know. Thank you. Bye for now.